Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. Uh, we're going to get into the big one this <clears throat> week. Um, the last, I guess, uh, PBC Showtime pay-per-view. I'm sure we'll get a ton more <laughs> PBC pay-per-views, just not on Showtime. Uh, David Benavides and uh, Demetrius Andre in a uh, non-title super middleweight fight. It's a good one. Uh, we're going to get into that, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, show you how to bring down the house. Show you how to make money consistently on boxing. We don't gamble here. Uh, we we use DraftKings, and I'm in Texas. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you that the odds makers, the bookmakers don't know what they're doing in boxing. <coughs> I do. And I will show you how to make a second source of income consistently in boxing. This can be done. Um, I'm smarter than the bookies. Also, subscribe and follow the other YouTube, cha YouTube channel, Texas Boxing C. That's Texas Boxing C on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All right. Let's get into today's show. This is a good one. Um, Demetrius Andre has world-class skills, Olympian. I mean, he's his skills are second to none. He's got pop. He's got speed. He's long. He's strong. He's got everything you want. He's got the perfect build of a fighter. He's six foot tall, 74-inch reach. Uh, he is 35 now, which is, I mean, <clears throat> which is old. Um, it was a 2008 Olympian, I, I think. Yeah, 2008 Olympian. Um, that's a long time he's been pro. Um, so you go back and, and you look at it, and his, his resume is poor. It's quite poor. Um, best wins on his resume? It, it, it's Liam Williams, I guess. Lee, Liam Williams, um, that that was in 2021. And, and I guess before that, you, you would go to Vadis Motorosian in 2013. That was a decade ago. Just over a decade ago. I mean, it, it, it it's quite poor and it's rough. You know, Andre came up. He was with um, Joe DeGuardia on Star Boxing. Then later on... Um, you know, he signed with Eddie Hearn. Now he's on PBC. And he's finally getting a big fight uh, being with PBC. And that's Benavides. And this is a really intriguing fight. Uh, because I don't think people understand just how good Boo Boo Andre is. Um, everyone is in love with Benavides because of what he did with Caleb Plant. And it was very impressive. Um, right? But there's a, there's a couple of things. A, Andre... Uh, I think is 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 naturally he's probably the same height. They're probably probably around six foot, um, but he's probably a naturally stronger fighter. He's definitely the bigger hitter than Plant, um, and he fights a lot. He can fight more off the front foot, where Caleb has to be off the back foot. Um, Andre is a much more complete fighter than Caleb Plant. He's got much more tools in the toolbox than Caleb Plant, who's who's a pure boxer off the back foot, uh, slippery. Um, hard to hit, um, but but he's constantly running. Uh, Andre will establish himself specifically early in fights. And what he has to do is he has to really break down Benavides, slow Benavides down, because the one thing you cannot do, and I say this over and over and over again, is do what, Benavides, uh, do what Caleb Plant tried to do, which is run from the Mexican monster for 12 rounds. Not going to work, right? I say this about Canelo and other guys too. You cannot run for 12 rounds. You're going to have to stand your ground like Bavol did with Canelo and, and, and try to make him go backwards, dig him up, take some steam out of him, go to his body. Um, you you got to break him down because if you just run, you're going to slow down. And once you do, you're going to get destroyed. Andre can do that. Andre can establish his ground. He can walk you down, he can make you go backwards, he can score on you. Now, he hasn't fought anyone 
nearly as good as the Mexican monster. Not even close. Like his resume for someone who's 35 years old, who's been a champ for about a decade for the most part, the better part of the, the vast majority of a decade. He's, been, he's really fought nobody. And it's, it's really quite staggering because of how good he is. He's really, really good. Um, This is a great fight. And I, I think people are overlooking Andre because his resume is trash. Now, maybe it's his fault. Maybe it's not. Like, you know, so you don't fight with nobody. He's a horrible fighter. Horrible. Right? Um, he, he's not a horrible fighter. He's an excellent fighter. Canelo didn't want to fight him because I mean, he's not a draw. Um, he, he's from Rhode Island. He doesn't have a natural fan base in, in one of the biggest markets, right? He had a fight with Billy Joe, and Billy Joe uh, tested positive, and, and it just really hasn't come together for him. You know, but I, 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 I do think this is a good fight for him. He has to stop himself. He can't be sloppy. Sometimes he gets too relaxed, and then he starts taking these really wide kind of crazy shots. He can't do that. He's got to stay controlled. He's got to stay in the pocket. He's got to win rounds. He's got to win every early round. He, he starts fast, and then he slows down. He, and he doesn't fade. He just gets bored, it seems. He can't get bored. He has to stay focused, right? He has to stay locked in. He has to just keep winning rounds. He has to move off the back foot at times. And other times, he's going to have to stand in. He's going to have to trade. He's going to have to beat him to the punch. He's going to have to Use his jab. He's got an excellent jab. He's got uh, he's a southpaw. He's got pinpoint accurate straight left hands. He's going to have to use all, all that. He's going to have to use everything in his toolbox. He can't just try to win a bunch of rounds early and then survive because that's what Caleb planted, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work in a 12-round fight. Might work in an amateur fight. Might work in a six-round fight. Not going to work in a 12-round fight. you got to establish yourself. Right, you gotta hurt the guy. This is still prize fighting. You gotta hurt the other guy, um, and he can do that. You know, he, he he's he, he's so sharp when he wants to be. He has to keep the pace up. He can't rest on his laurels. He gives so many rounds away sometimes because it seems like out of boredom. Right, he's got power. He he knocks everyone down. He just doesn't finish. He doesn't have to finish Benavides. What he has to do is really start to damage him. Slow him down, hurt him, take some steam at him. I think going to his body is going to be used. Now, what's Benavidez going to do? Benavidez is a monster. He, he's strong as hell. Um, he hits hard. He comes at you. Uh, and Andre's got to meet him in the middle, right? You can't just go backwards. He tries to take your will away and break you down. And Caleb Plant, what he did with Caleb Plant is his vintage Benavidez, right? Um, but you're going to have to move. You're going to have to circle. And you're going to circle. Circle, right? Um, he, he, he makes mistakes. Like he crosses his feet kind of like an amateur. Like he's got these sloppy mistakes. And a guy like Andre, an Olympian, ton of pedigree, he can capitalize it. He crosses his feet, bang, hit him. Hit him when he crosses his feet. He can't do anything, right? Uh, Andre flaws most of his opponent. Can he flaw this guy? Can he knock him down? He's got the power to do it. And like I said, Benavides has these bad, has horrible footwork, right? Like he has bad habits. He can nail them. What Benavides can do is kind of outpunch his mistakes, right? It's like the really bad defensive basketball team who just comes down and hits threes all the time. It's like, okay, they gave you some easy ones, but ultimately what they do is it, it, so efficient, right? Like it's so hard to overcome that they're, they're going to get the better of you. Right. But Andre is that sharp. Andre is a really good fighter. So like Benavides has to out punch his mistakes and outland his mistakes and just break you down. And he can do that. But when I show you the odds, here, you're going to see why I'm going to take Andre in this fight. I, I like Andre to win. And when I show you the odds, you're going to like this too. Benavidez is minus 380. <clears throat> Andre, so you need to bet $308 on Benavidez to win $100. It's not worth a bet, right? I'll show you that. $100 bet on Benavidez. 
It's just 2631. Well, I'll bet on Andre. Makes you 375. Then I'll bet it goes. Oh, no, I want over. Over 10 and a half. It'll make you 6250. So that's the bet here. I'm not going to take. Um, Benavides by uh, KO. I mean, I'm not gonna take Andre by 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 points, which is kind of what I see. Um, even though it's you know what we're gonna do it. We're 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 we're, we're gonna go in. I still think there's a a chance of a robbery here, but we're we're gonna do it anyway. Andre. That's a really good bet. Plus 450. Andre winning by points, which is what I think is going to happen. Um, it's going to make you 450 there. 550, 650, 725. Uh, this 300-all bet, if Andre makes you, wins this fight by decision, this is going to make you 800 bucks. So we're going to go Andre on the over, Andre on the money line, and Andre uh, to win on, on a prop bet. Andre to win uh, by decision. So the, the uh, on the money line, it's going to make you two seventy five on a one times bet. On the over, it's going to make you sixty two fifty over ten and a half rounds. Um, and uh, Andre to win on the prop bet makes you four fifty. I mean, this is an intriguing bet right here. It really is an intriguing bet right here. Four fifty. Uh, Five seven twenty. It's making eight hundred eight hundred bucks on a three dollar bet if Andre wins by decision, which I, I think he's going to win by decision. Two and a half to one, basically, is what this is paying you when it's all said and done. This is an upset special, guys. This week's upset special. Let me know what you guys think. Hmm. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll... I forgot to put that up there. Put it up now. Uh, Andre, money line. Andre, uh, take the over. And you're going to take the prop bet of Andre winning a technical decision, which pays 450 And we use DraftKings. Best odds. I think it's most user-friendly. I like the, the user interface. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Andre, uh, this is the upset special of the week. Let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments uh, below. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is now November 21st, 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.